Welcome to this moment of prayer hosted by The Upper Room. I'm Claire McKeever Burgett, and I'm the Associate Director of the Academy for Spiritual Formation, an international ministry of The Upper Room. We gather today with the knowing that we are in a very painful and pivotal place in American and global society. Over 100,000 people in the United States and more than 370,000 people worldwide have died from COVID-19. The lives lost are disproportionately persons of color. We face a global financial crisis and we see and join in the grief and anger, protest and outrage expressed throughout the world at the killings of Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, Tony McDade, Manuel Ellis, and the countless Black people throughout America's painful, racist history. Wherever you may be this day, whether you're alone or with others, marching in the streets, making phone calls from home, feeding children, wondering how you will feed children, Know that God is with you, right here, right now. Please share your joys and concerns with us and the Upper Room community in the comments section as we pray. And as we begin this service, I invite you to take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Soften your shoulders away from your ears. Root your feet into the ground. Dig in and dig deep. Feel yourself wrapped in the love of God. Let's pray. Healer of our every ill, light of each tomorrow, give us peace beyond our fear and hope beyond our sorrow. Our opening prayer comes from the Upper Room Worship Book and is shared in the comments section for your reference. Let's pray this prayer together. New every morning is your love, great God of light. And all day long you are working for good in the world. Stir up in us desire to serve you, to live peacefully with our neighbors and all your creation, and to devote each day to your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our sacred readings for today come from both the Bible and the living word of Black people's lives. The sacred readings are woven into our embodied prayer practice, which is woven into our prayers of the people, all of which are an invitation to pray with scripture and story, with the elements of air, water, fire, and earth, and with our bodies. The last time I led this moment of prayer, I invited us to pray with our five senses. As spirit would have it, a few days later, I engaged in an Academy podcast conversation with Sophia Agterup, in which she mentioned her recent leading of a prayer practice using the four elements, air, water, fire, and earth, instead of the five senses. Because, as she pointed out, not everyone sees or tastes or hears or touches or smells in the same way. As Sophia noted, However our bodies show up in the world, we can all connect with the four elements. Grateful for Sophia's wisdom, I invite us then to pray using the four elements as our guide. As we move through the elements, I will share a sacred reading with each and invite us to hold close the names and the people, the places and the things that come to heart and mind. Let us pray. We pray with air, breathing in 
breathing out. This small act feels much larger in these days of a global pandemic that seeks to steal our breath and disproportionately the breath of those who are Black, Indigenous, and persons of color. This small act feels much larger in the wake of the deaths of Eric Garner and George Floyd, Manuel Ellis and Breonna Taylor, Sandra Bland and Tony McDade, only to name a few of the thousands whose breath was taken from them too soon. Remember, beloveds, we breathe deeply on behalf of those who cannot. This small act is an act of justice. And as we breathe, we pray for and with all those who need the breath of God this day. Hear these words from the poet Ross Gay. A small needful fact is that Eric Garner worked for some time for the Parks and Rec Horticulture Department, which means perhaps that with his very large hands, perhaps in all likelihood, he put gently into the earth some plants, which most likely some of them in all likelihood continue to grow, continue to do what such plants do, like house and feed small and necessary creatures, like being pleasant to touch and smell, like converting sunlight into food, like making it easier for us to breathe. We pray with water. Washing our hands is a baptism cleansing us, protecting others, reminding us of the belovedness and sacredness of all. Today, as we pray, may we dip our hands, our feet in the water that frees us to do the work of dismantling white supremacy, of amplifying black indigenous persons of color, of supporting with our time and dollars the work dedicated to the thriving of Black Indigenous life. From the prophet Amos, chapter 5, verses 21 through 24. I despise and reject your feasts. I am not appeased by your solemn assemblies. When you offer me burnt offerings, I reject your oblations and refuse to look at your sacrifices of fattened cattle. Spare me the racket of your chanting. Relieve me of the strumming of your harps. Instead, let justice flow like a river and righteousness flow like an unfailing stream. We pray with fire. Fire warms, ignites, refines, makes new. We pray with Mary's Magnificat. May the fires of your justice burn. And with the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Who said in his speech at Stanford University in 1967, I must say tonight that a riot is the language of the unheard. And what is it America has failed to hear? It has failed to hear that the promises of freedom and justice have not been met. And it has failed to hear that large segments of white society are more concerned about tranquility and the status quo than about justice and humanity. We pray with earth. We pray by placing our feet upon the ground, rooting in and rooting deep, recognizing that this land was never ours to control, only ours to love. We pray remembering the places that are war-torn and ravaged, 
crying out for peace. We pray remembering the story of when God created us, saying, let us make humankind in our image to be like us. Let them be stewards, caretakers, lovers of the earth. Praying with air, we breathe. Praying with water, we repent. Praying with fire, we refine. Praying with earth, we love. And now, praying in the way Jesus taught us to pray and in the language that feels most right and true to your soul, let's say together, O oh God, our parent, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today all it is we need. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Redeem us from our troubles and deliver us from all evil. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Thank you for being with us today. Go forth, beloveds, in the love that transforms, the justice that refines, and the peace that makes all things new. Amen.